Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so in this video, we're going to talk about the law of quadratic reciprocity and notice that this says part one. So we'll have a part two where we talk about supplements to the law of quadratic reciprocity. And what is the law? The law is what's written here, front and center. Yeah, and uh, we require that both Q and P be odd primes. So what is this junk here? It's just a restatement of the law of quadratic reciprocity. So this here is the same as this here. And frequently when we're solving problems, so when we're trying to figure out what P over Q is, this version is much more user friendly. So we'll be using this uh, almost every single time. So uh, most of my video here is gonna be dedicated to showing you how this is the same as that. Yeah? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, now uh, recall that um, uh, I said we're gonna have three videos on uh, calculating A over P for a large A and a large P. And I said that the first video or the first example will be uh, working on 713 over 1009. In fact, we started working on it in my video on the properties of the Legendre symbol, of which this is one, right? Okay, cool. And using this uh, one property of the Legendre symbol, uh, we made some progress and said that this is the same as this because we knew that 713 is the same as 23 times 31. Uh, now, first note that you couldn't apply the law of quadratic reciprocity on this at the start, because we said that uh, Q and P need to both be odd primes, and while 1009 is an odd prime, 713 is not. But once you get here, you can apply the law of quadratic reciprocity on this and on this, and so uh, finish solving uh, for what this is, yeah? Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I'll show you how the law of quadratic reciprocity helps on this part, and you can use your imagination on how it helps there. Yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. So this is what we do. So um, 23 over uh, 1009, right, um, can be uh, set to equal 1009 over 23. Why you ask? Because 1009 is one more than a multiple of four, um, and 23 is not, but uh, in this part, we only require that either Q or P is one more than a multiple of four. So because uh, one of them, namely 1009, is one more than a multiple of four, we're able to say that uh, P over Q is the same as Q over P. Now, another of the properties of the Legendre symbol that we talked about is the fact that um, A squared, um, or rather, sorry, A over B, well, we did talk about the fact that A squared over P um, is always equal to one, but that's not what I want here. I want the fact that uh, the fact that um, A over uh, P will equal uh, B over P whenever uh, whenever A is congruent to uh, B mod P. So what can we do here? Well, we can reduce 1009 mod 23 and write that what we have here is the same as uh, 20 over 23. And then we can move forward from here and uh, figure out what this is and we can similarly figure out what this is and multiply them together uh, To figure out what this is. Yeah, but I'll save all that for the video where we actually work out all the details of this guy Which will be our first example on calculating a over P for a large a and a large P as I said All right. All right. So uh, the rest of this video then is going to be about um, showing how um, This here is equivalent to this here. Yeah, Okay, 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 cool. So to get started, first uh, recall that every odd integer is of the form uh, 4k plus 1 or um, 4k plus 3. Every odd integer is of one of the two forms. It's either of this form or this form. That's true for every odd integer. But wait, we said that Q and P are odd primes. They have to be odd primes and therefore they are odd integers. Therefore, uh, either we have that P is congruent to one mod four, so it's one more than a multiple of four, or P is um, three mod four, so it's three more than a multiple of four. So one of the two has to be true about P, and likewise about Q. So we have to have that Q is either uh, one more than a multiple of four, or we have to have that um, Q is um, three more than a multiple of four. And now, knowing this, we see that there are only four total possibilities, um, which is that we pair these two, or we pair these two, 
Alternatively, we pair um, these two or we pair those two diagonal, right? Okay, cool. Now, the first pairing that I drew is going to have us say that um, P is congruent to 1 mod 4 um, and, uh, and uh, Q is congruent to 1 mod 4. Um, let's say that this is A. Yeah? Okay, cool. And then uh, B would have us say, um, and that's that arrow right there, would have us say that P is congruent to um, 3 mod 4 and um, and um, and uh, Q is congruent to um, 1 mod 4. And so then by symmetry, we see that this accounts for the case where Q is congruent to 3 mod 4 and P is congruent to 1 mod 4 by symmetry, right? Okay, so we don't need to write that as a separate case when uh, P is congruent to 1 mod 4 and Q is congruent to 3 mod 4. All right, all right, all right. So uh, C, the final uh, uh, scenario then, is to say that um, P is congruent to... Um, congruent to 3 mod 4 and um, and uh, Q is congruent to uh, 3 mod 4 uh, 3 mod 4 right okay okay now I'm going to show you how this is this here is the same as that there um, in uh, the B case uh, and you can use a similar argument to what I'm about to show you in the B case uh, to show that um, this is the same as that, uh, both uh, for this and this. Uh, but in the interest of time, I'm only going to show it for that. Yeah? Okay, cool, 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 cool. So let's get rid of all else. Um, so get rid of that. Get rid of this. And uh, move this um, over here. And let's see why uh, this will imply that this is the same as that. Okay, and here is how. Uh, first, we can write uh, that we have Q over P um, times um, P over Q times P over Q, right? We have that this is equal to negative 1 to the power of this here, when P is congruent to 3 mod 4, is going to be um, an odd integer, right? Think about it. So you'll have... Uh, p is congruent to 3 mod 4, so you'll have p minus 1 divided by 2, and you need to get an odd integer if p is congruent to 3 mod 4. So we'll have negative 1 to an odd um, power times, and then this here, since q is congruent to 1 mod 4, will have to be an even integer. So we'll have odd times even integer uh, as an exponent to negative 1. But that's going to be uh, negative 1 to the power of uh, an even integer, right? Okay, cool. And so then... <laughs> We have that uh, we have that um, q over p um, times um, p over q is equal to one because negative one to an even integer is going to be one, right? And now what we can do is multiply both sides of uh, this very last equation by um, q over p. And when I do, look at what I'll have. So let's make some room. Uh, on the left side, we're gonna get, um, we're gonna get, um, let's see, let's see, let's see. What, what are we gonna get on the left side? On the left side, we're gonna get, uh, to start, we're gonna get um, Q squared over P. And then we'll multiply that by, um, so these two combine into this. And then we'll have times uh, P over Q and then on the right side, we'll have um, 1 times um, Q over P is just going to be Q over P, right? We'll have Q over P. Got it. But then uh, one of the five uh, properties of the Legendre symbol that we stated along with this one, right, said that, um, and I actually already mentioned it, didn't I? Said that, um, said that uh, A squared over uh, P is always equal to 1. And therefore, Q squared over P is going to equal 1. And thereafter, we'll have that uh, P over Q is equal to uh, Q over P. And the situation where, again, uh, P is congruent to uh, 3 mod 4 and Q is uh, congruent to uh, 1 mod 4. And therefore, uh, we have this case because we only require either P or Q to be congruent to 1 mod 4 in this first case. And that's the situation we just proved, right? We have that situation. And in that situation, we just showed 
that P over Q will have to equal Q over P. Yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. And like I said, you can uh, similarly show um, the other two cases that I wrote as part A and part C. Uh, and this is it um, until part two. Take care.